broken tent peg, no problem. What's up guys, Dan here, Coal Cracker Bushcraft. So broken tent pegs can be a hassle or maybe you are taking some pieces of rebar to use as tent pegs and they don't have any type of hook on the top or maybe during an ice storm, your shelter loosens up and you need to tighten it. Now the reason I brought up the ice storm, I was camping a few nights ago and while I was camping, stuff loosened up with my shelter. It was brand new oil cloth. So it started to stretch out a little bit and things like that and I had to get up and tighten in that ice storm, my shelter back down, okay? So while I was doing that, I was like, hey, this is a great video idea because I think this can be very useful for a lot of people. All right, so what we're gonna be dealing with here is a stake or a post in the ground that doesn't have any type of hook to catch our rope on, okay? Or in our case, what we're gonna simulate that this line is, is this goes out to a tarp, okay? So with the summer months approaching quickly, you're gonna be probably using your hammock more often, so you're gonna have a tarp flying over your hammock, or in rainy conditions, you might just fly your tarp for the day so you don't get wet. So you're gonna have your lines coming off of the tarp, and generally, okay, you're gonna do one of two things. You're either going to put some type of device on that's gonna allow you to adjust, okay, this End loop or you're gonna tie a knot to work with this end loop. The problem with that though, if you have an end loop like this that's adjustable, when your tent peg breaks or if you're using something like I'm gonna be using here shortly, a piece of rebar as a stake, there is nowhere really for that to grab onto so it can always slide up and off. So what is another option? So if you just have a long line right to the end, do this. We can put our tent peg anywhere in the ground at this point, we're gonna then take our line. Now we're not gonna pull this line extremely tight. We don't want it banjo string tight yet. That will happen through this process, but you want it somewhat taut, but enough that you can give yourself maybe an inch of play with it. Now with the cut end, okay, of the line, you're gonna wrap that around one, two, three times, okay? And then this is why you need some tension in here. You're gonna take this and you're literally just gonna fold that over the top and give this a pull and that is going to lock everything in. You can hear that now, banjo string tight. It's gonna keep everything nice and set for you um, when you're out there. And you can see how quick and easy that is. This knot's nice because this top line that was originally the bottom line crosses over everything else and locks it in place. And just like that, you have another tool for the toolbox. So that is a very handy little knot for different things, especially when you're do, doing all kind of camp stuff. There's always a time you're gonna stick it to peg in the ground and you have this rope and you, you need it tight. Three wraps and flip it over and you'll be good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like and subscribe button below. Also check us out at coalcrackerbushcraft.com for all our classes and our gear. And until the next video, tie your knots, stay in the woods.